this meeting I'm presenting the MSD prize lecture and it's going to be on the topic of uh, exercise and gene therapy, gene doping. So the idea behind the lecture really came to me while I was um, watching the Olympics in the summer where there seemed to be a huge interest in, in sport and exercise. So for a long time now we've known that exercise is beneficial to health. So what we're learning now more is how exercise causes those benefits at the molecular level. If we can understand those molecular pathways, we can then find targets to maybe improve health. But at the same time, as is used now, anything we do is in terms of the pharmacology of drugs, or anything we find in new pathways can be abused in elite sport in, in the form of doping. I think there, there are several points I want to make. Um, the first is really to present the evidence of how exercise really is beneficial to, towards health. And there's some very, been some very interesting data with large numbers of people recently that suggest if you can maintain a, a reasonable, not a massive standard of fitness as we get older, that you can cut your risk of just dying from anything by up to 50%. So if we can actually bottle that in terms of therapies, that would be amazing, an amazing therapy. The second part is really to explain some of the new genes that people have been uh, identified that may mediate exercise. And I'm going to highlight uh, one of the pathways that I'm interested in called PPAR beta, which when, in, which when the gene is inserted into mice, for instance, or, or drugs are given that activate it and mice are trained, you can greatly enhance their running endurance. And there's also things like benefits towards their health as well, where you get prevention of high fat induced changes in in weight gain and and the induction of a, diab a diabetic phenotype. So the other thing, of course, this is a pharmacology meeting, so I want to talk a little bit about the drugs that are being used in doping currently, and really they're or abused really they come from you know, what we've learned of pharmacology of the body and then applied to cheating sport. And then as things have moved on, now we're entering an area of gene therapy. One of the points I'm trying to get across is, is that we as pharmacologists have real expertise in, in therapeutics. And some pharmacologists embrace new ideas like gene therapy and some, and some are more traditional. I think if we, but I think we can add a lot to things like gene therapy and even exercise as, as a therapy by understanding you know, processes in terms of therapeutics, in terms of dose-response relationships and, and cause and effect.